Ah, uh, summer. Remember summer, Nick? I remember summer. It was hot. Yeah. You remember when we were up in Traverse City and the water was blue and we were going out in the middle of COVID and yep. we went to Bubba's and we ate food together and we just, I mean, we did a lot of stuff up there, did some podcasting, yeah. and little family dinners here and there, you know, uh, man. Summer. <sighs> hey, y'all, welcome to the Whiskey Warehouse. I'm Dylan. I'm Nick. And uh, today we got Iron Fish Distillery. Uh, what is it? Maple? It's a barrel strength uh, bourbon aged in uh, maple, maple syrup, syrup barrels. barrels. Mm. And the last time we had this, it was fucking hot it was outside. Very hot, yeah. It was warm. We picked this up in Traverse City. Tried it in Traverse City and it was like 90s there at least. Yeah, for it sure. Hot. It was nice. It was very nice outside. And, uh, you know, we sat down by the fire pit and we enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was really fucking good. Middle of summer, now we're in the middle of winter. So yes. we're gonna review it. Let's do it. And this is made in Thompsonville, Michigan, which is about what, 30, 30 miles 30 from- 30 miles or so outside of Traverse City. And it is a barrel strength at 112 proof, which makes it 56% alcohol, a f farm blended, whatever that means. And this specific bottle is a store pick from Costco. Costco. Is so it's, stuff. it's a single barrel. Uh, barrel number 98, well, barrel number 148 and bottle number 98. So there's that. I'm ready. We just tried that disgusting chocolate whiskey. I'm not going to name the company, but it was gross. I mean, they'll see it. People were uh, almost puking. <laughs> People were dying. Wasn't us. <laughs> Things were happening here at the Whiskey Warehouse in front of our live studio audience. Well, I guess they're not live anymore. Well, it's live to us. Yeah, it killed him. He's not alive anymore. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> but I think uh, Trent would really like this one because he likes, he likes caramel yeah, sure. shit. Well, or might maple. You know, with him and uh, Angel's Envy, this would probably be like a step up for him. Mm -hmm. Like that 60 or the... Uh, the 80 proof one that they had. What, Angel's Envy? No, of this. Oh yeah, they have a regular one, yeah. which we haven't tried yet. No. This is the barrel strength. I'd imagine that it would probably be about. It's about 60 bucks. Maybe a little is. sweeter. Yeah. Anyway, color. It's not as dark as I thought it'd be. No, it's not, it's very light. That might be the maple syrup. It looks very traditional. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it's your golden color, really. Gold. A little darker than uh, Jameson. Yep. Legs. Da, 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 da. Mm, thick and quick. There we go. I like that. Barrel proof stuff is always thick and quick. So let's move on to the nose. My All friend. right. It's multi. Maple syrup. I'm going to get the obvious one out of the way. Yeah. Get a lot of pepper. I'm smelling just straight up maple syrup right now. I get that too, obviously char caramel brown sugar sweet nose all around yep all right let's uh let's not uh waste uh, any time uh, pitter patter let's get at her yeah sweet very sweet mm. So much better than the last pour of whiskey that I had. <laughs> By miles. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's definitely maple syrup. There is. There. This tastes like the. Uh, there's a nice hug on that one, man. Tastes like Taconic with maple syrup. It does. It. it does. Taconic. Perfect. Makes a maple syrup yep. that we mix in with their bourbon, and that's what it tastes like. Fire. Except this is stronger. Yeah. I will say that I did say on our podcast, if I could craft my own perfect whiskey, this would be it. You did? Because it is 
freaking phenomenal. It is. It's very, very good. Not to say that there aren't better whiskeys out there, but if I was to do it for myself personally, this would be like one that I would make all the time. Mm, damn, that's fucking good. The bourbon so shines through the maple. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. It's not straight up maple syrup. There's some sting to it. And I think the regular one would be too sweet. Oh God, this is good. Oh. That's amazing. You know what I mean though? Yeah, I can taste the bourbon for sure. It's yeah. The, it's very good, but that maple syrup is what makes this. Wow. Perfect balance. And it does have a nice, well, Michigan hug. It does they, have a nice hug. hug. You can feel the, it coming down and warms your heart. hand, you know, they go, mm, hand hugs. Yeah. It's Michigan. It's the hand. It's the hand. <laughs> it grabs your heart. Yep. Just like Florida is the dick of the United States, Michigan is the hand. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, make it into a cologne and bury me in it. Mm. Whew, that's good. One of the best smelling ones for sure. I love it. Mm. Let's score it. It's got some cinnamon on there too. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of flavors. It's just that that maple syrup like drowns a lot out. There's definitely barrel char. That's fucking <sighs> good. Dude. God dang. Score it. Mm. This is going to surprise most of you. Not me. 95. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, I would, like I said, my perfect bourbon type profile is nice and sweet. So this is one that would definitely be, you know, a unicorn to me, but maybe not to you. Um, if you like maple syrup, you'll definitely like it. Obviously. I will say I've had better and I've had worse. So like George T. Stagg. I've had better? I've had better? I have. George T. Stagg would be like, you know, a perfect, perfect, perfect one. Mm-hmm. However, I'm not going to be snobby like that. You know? I, don't, I, I don't even think I'd rank George T. Stagg at a 99. Really? Yeah. 98. 98. <laughs> 98. That's good. I cannot say that there aren't other bourbons that I might find perfect, but this to me is like, whoo. It's up there. It is like damn near impossible to get this close to perfection. It's very good. I probably put it at 94. There you go. Yeah. Go out and get it. You That's see good, it? good, dude. Get it. Get it. If you can find it, get it. And I wonder if, like, this is a store pick. I wonder if the uh, ones that aren't store picks taste different. I'd be interested. Yeah, mm -hmm. we should probably, when we go back up uh, this See if we can find, whatever. yeah. Maybe we do some distillery tours this time. Yeah. If the world is open. Fucking COVID. Right. Uh, subscribe. Let's go, people. We need energy here. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. We need it. It helps us out. Doesn't hurt you. So road to one thousand. If you uh, really want to hear the talk on subscription, go ahead and listen to our uh, one of our podcast videos. Videos called "Don't Get an STD." Don't get an STD. It's a good one. We can have a very sensual talk with uh, Nick and I about subscribing. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Yep. Bye. Bye.